Hi there everyone, this is Liz. A warm welcome back to this new intuitive weekly update. I'm going to, to tune in to the collective as usual and see what kind of energies and influences that I pick up on that my spiritual team would like to talk about. Um, and there might also be some more practical, personal tip from them as well that you can apply for your own personal life. And it's all into connection to whatever is going on in the world. So pay attention to the symbolic words and images that they are talking about in these uh, little short videos. And if you would like a private session with me, you can check out the links and the information in the box below and it will take you to my website. All right. <clears throat> so let's see what will come forward today. <clears throat> so they're immediately showing me a lot of stars and they, they, they say the, the phrase that we that we have here on earth when you wish upon a star and it's all about perspectives to keep your perspectives high when it comes to um, life in general but it can also uh, be about a specific situation in your life that you should keep your perspective high and keep that energy because um, uh, what you can't see now you will be able to see uh, soon uh, from above or from a broader perspective <clears throat> um, so you, it, it's almost like you can't see the whole picture yet, so don't judge anything until you see the whole picture or don't uh, feel fear until you see the whole picture or um, try to embrace things step by step instead of um, uh, looking at things from a ground level because uh, now is the time to raise your perspective higher to look at things from a higher perspective so okay mm. and when you do that you also <clears throat> lift yourself and your energies from earth level and from the heavy energies that people are going through right now and trying to release. Um, so it's also a help uh, for you if you're going through a healing process, for example, it's good for you to uh, uh, always remember to have a higher perspective on life or on things because it kind of gives you the space within to, to heal things instead of um, trying to hold on too tightly to the healing process. That's what I'm hearing. <clears throat> I'm sorry, I had a cold last week. That's why you didn't see me here on screen because my eyes were ringing so much mm, and I still have some things in my throat it seems like <laughs> um but i'm feeling very well so um yeah so um, don't get stuck too tightly into your uh, healing process and by that we mean um uh, nothing can heal if you um <clears throat> If you uh, keep something very tight within and like don't let something out until it's completely done or um, don't live your life um, meanwhile the, the healing is happening so what they are suggest suggesting is that you should um, 
loosen up the healing process and don't take that too seriously in in that sense that it gives you a cramp or something that you can't live fully or allow the healing flow to happen naturally because some things needs to happen naturally when we live our life because we are experiencing different things that helps us through some kind of healing process we are not meant to step back from life all the time just because we need some kind of healing sometimes we just have to dare to live uh, because life will serve you the things uh, situations or people that helps you along the way so <clears throat> loosen up the, the perspective on this as well is very good um okay <laughs> i'm sorry sometimes it's so funny when i get these inner images how they seem try to symbolic uh, sh show me stuff and i'm seeing a lot of legs at the moment <laughs> running legs so the legs are running and and they say don't rush don't rush through life and they are bringing up stress elements here like if you uh, you should go with the flow but you shouldn't rush <laughs> or, or, or um, um, add stress to the natural flow so even though you're a person who try to live uh, in the natural flow of life or try to get into that space um, that can also be added stress elements to this <laughs> okay because um when you are only in the flow you can kind of also lose goals sometimes or lose the ability to make choices or or um <clears throat> um don't reconnect with yourself and from there take action or or something so it's like yeah natural flow is good <laughs> uh, but if you but if you um are not staying connected with yourself it can actually add stress um or confusion or delays or um, I'm not sure what they are talking about now but apply this into your own life at, as it resonates with you and uh, so it's all of, always about balance and be staying connected to the earthly you since we live here on earth <laughs> stay connected to the human part of yourself even if you know that you're a soul and you're an energy and my energy creates my world and my surrounding right <clears throat> but still stay connected to your earthly life stay grounded and and be practical when you need to plan stuff or uh, whatever it is so uh, being the natural flow of things doesn't mean that you should flow above the ground you should still stay connected and rooted and um feeling part of everyday life in, in a good way you know um okay so i never talked about this before i think but they want to bring up sexuality because uh, sex so sexuality uh, can both be connected to the earthly part of human life but it can also be connected to a higher dimensional experience uh, and uh, 
you can they're talking about merging those two elements and those two vibrations together to create something new never experienced before perhaps in your life um, <clears throat> So, so they're saying that we can, as anything else in our life, we can have, we can have sexual identities, like this is who I am sexually, uh, this is how I like to have sex, or we can have that kind of structure or experience, we can have both good or bad experiences. Uh, and then they kind of wipe everything away and asking you to create a new type of experience within the sexual realm. And how can you connect your high vibration and your soul energy more into, into your sexuality or, or or your sexual experiences if you're sexually active <laughs> uh, if you're single and not sexual active with someone else you can still apply that with your uh, sexual energy with yourself uh, or the way you think or the way you feel about this subject I and why why does this come up now it has something to do with the energies of the spring and what the energies that comes flows into the earth right now or, and affect people. Sometimes it can be projected as fears or anger even or frustration. Um, but if you tune into the higher vibration of this this type of energy that I'm feeling is actually very sexual and um, connected to connected to those chakras and those elements of you who have had different kind of sexual experiences and what I'm hearing is that this wants to evolve <laughs> this part of you wants to evolve in a, in a sacred way like the feeling of sacred union um intimate sacred union that's the word that i'm hearing and um, how can that be applied to your to your life and to your way of thinking mm. so maybe through more presence when you um when you have sexual interaction with your partner for example um yeah i'm feeling a lot of presence i'm feeling a lot of uh, conscious um <laughs> sacred and beautiful loving energy and how that energy kind of infuses everything that you are so we're not supposed to be separate anymore from from our mind from our heart from our lower chakras from our roots we're coming together as a whole unit and within that whole unit everything everything we are is is included so within your relationship you will you will automatically want to include everything that you are in a in a close interaction with your with your partner if you're in a relationship you will automatically feel the need i think 
uh, if you're on a spiritual path, you will feel the need to actually allow things um, to be present, uh, to be connected with all that you are, but also with the person that you're with and to create this beautiful sacred place where um you know whatever you uh, like to happen with your partner uh, of course uh, that will always differ <laughs> but i mean um co a connection with um, the wholeness of yourself will make um this sacred act <laughs> so much more um, memorable and beautiful and passionate um, <clears throat> okay is there anything else regarding this uh, yeah and they're, they're, they're talking about taking things um, listen to your your needs and your your pace when it comes to um opening up to this new self of yours because it will differ from person to person um and you can talk about this i hear as well with your partner if you are in a relationship so this will uh, apply a lot to you listeners who have a relationship uh, or when you get into a relationship if you want to and um, mm, yeah and it feels so smooth and out I can't ex describe the feeling it, it is like without fears without um, mm, um i can't find the words now because it's it's just a feeling it's like you're just present there and it's um it's um happening everything is happening by itself in that force in that energy so it's just about being aware of the wholeness of who you are uh, your human your soul part and your your um, your energy and the dance in between someone else when you when you come together and, and uh, in an intimate way so yeah that's just an, a, a little awareness about some some kind of spring energy that are um affecting people with a lot of drive and that drive it can it can turn to either frustration or anger it can turn or it can turn to something creative or it can change your uh, sexual energies and perception about that your consciousness about um what happens in those kind of interactions what happens with your energy when you have sex and what happens with um your conscious when consciousness when you allow to think uh, or feel with all that you are we're not separate anymore we have so much uh, humans i mean in general have so much uh, sexual trauma in the baggage uh, collectively and that is something that are about to be healed and come up for people whoever needs that kind of healing and um, by your own awareness this will um, it doesn't matter if you have a sexual trauma or not you 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 might have a sexual trauma in your in your lineage uh, from your grandparents or um, even further away but it doesn't really matter if you have that or not because you you still are a part of the collective and 
you're still part of the development of the consciousness and uh, this is just one aspect of what will also be included in our development in in our awareness of ourselves our bodies and our connection and <clears throat> mm -hmm. okay let's see if there's anything else okay so we would like to take a skip so uh, to something else, I'm seeing a forest and I'm seeing trees. Mm. And I'm smelling, you know, I'm smelling how the trees smells and the bark. And the, mm. Yeah, and they say there are some because um, we use we use a lot of herbs and flowers and plants and stuff for healing but they say we have missed we have missed a bit regarding the trees and the healing power of the trees hmm. there are much more to be learned about the trees that's what i'm getting and about the healing power of the trees and that comes from both their, their um, what they're made of the material that can be um, used for healing but also or foremost the, their energy and yeah, <laughs> some people are good at hugging trees and stepping out to the forest and embrace their energy. Mm -hmm. But there, there is more than that, I feel. And they say like trees, trees are like people, but with slower energy, slower vibration. And what do they mean by people are like trees? Mm, um, trees are like people. Um, they have a consciousness. <clears throat> well, almost everything have a consciousness. It's just that it's different. It's just different from from ours. And we can learn a lot of things by talking to the trees or feeling the energy of the trees. Um, and we will teach this. Um, we will bring in teaching regarding how you can um, expand your natural abilities regarding healing and how the trees um, do this a lot every day every second through through every pulse that they have i actually uh, when i had courses sometimes within channeling or intuition we sometimes step out in the forest and connect to nature and if you just lean towards a tree, you can you can feel the pulse of the tree. You can feel how it uh, has a completely different rhythm than we are not used to as humans, because we are raised in a very fast pace, and we should perform and and uh, execute so many things, and we are getting rewarded for press um accomplishments and um you know all that kind of uh, stress that often arises when you have the stress element too much in your life and 
the pulse of the trees are kind of bringing us um, into a much, much more natural rhythm. And when we get into that rhythm, we can actually feel um, a lot more from ourselves, from our own energy, but also the world that we live in. Remember that even if you live in a city, for example, you actually live in nature, but it's a suffocated nature with all the concrete and, and, and asphalt and, and stuff on it. But we all live in nature and <clears throat> we are supposed to uh, we are supposed to stay connected so i'm really a big fan or admire when city planners are allowing big parks in in larger cities to to remain or to make sure that they are um, keeping um, certain landscaping intact or you know it at, at least that's something <laughs> and it brings uh, a certain type of balance even if you live in the city um, <clears throat> and that's why also trees are so incredibly important in those kind of places um because where i live i can just step out of my front door and <laughs> i have nature and trees right outside here um, but sometimes i'm out traveling and uh, you know i like to visit cities and and do different things and i've lived in cities as well um so the trees are having a specific um, um what do you say assignment here on earth like everything does but they really really help to keep the balance uh, of the energies in in um in specific places so if you're sensitive about energies and keeping your energy balanced and high you might look at <laughs> what how many trees do i have in my surrounding because it's really good not only to be able to visit nature a park trees or feel that energy in that surroundings um but it's also important where you live that there are planted trees nearby and, and regularly in the area because they're showing me how incredibly important they are to store energy and to pulsate energy and, and, and to help um, the earth circulate energy somehow <laughs> i will probably go in deeper into this um because they were talking about teachings regarding the trees um but this is just a taste of it that and you can probably feel what i'm talking about without me putting words into it you know you can feel uh, what this is about and how important this is and and if you look around to where you live do you have planted trees in your area that helps balance the energy it applies to plants as well but trees are specific because uh, they are there long term and have a long-term assignment for um keep the energy balanced and not stagnant in an area and also helps us always stay connected to this earth to the soil and to the earth and to the deeper part of us as humans 
our roots, both our galactic roots, but also our earthly roots. So, yeah, and think of it, you know, think of how they actually look, <laughs> how trees look. They're very tall, often, N not all trees. Some trees are very short and not so tall or high. But most trees, many trees, are very high. They have big, wide, deep roots. They reach for, for, for the stars, as we began with when I was talking to you. Mm. It's something to think about. They are rooted and connected, but they also have a higher perspective in their crown. Right? So I'm going to leave you with that today. <laughs> um, go out in the sun or wherever you are, what kind of weather you are having. Uh, go out and hug a tree today. <laughs> Promise me that and write in the comments how it felt for you. All right. Um, I'll see you next week. If you have any questions about my work or anything, just reach out. I'm always answering my emails. That's the best way to, to contact me is through my email. All right. Have a lovely week. Bye.